Good morning, it's Sonny Hayes from Palm Investigation UK. Today's date is the 4th of March 2022. And today we're back on the investigation at Chester, catching up the um, with footage we sent into us in 2021. And we're now on movie 505, which is the 8th of October of 2021 last year. Uh, slowly but surely we're getting there, catching up with these um, captures. Um, before we get into the movie itself, I have an update on the clock. Um, in the main office itself, we get a considerable amount of um, what would call tappy rappy sounds and they were raps and stuff but what you've always got to do is attempt to try and and dunk, debunk these and um what we've actually done is what the owner can actually do on his mobile is actually go into the cctv CV system completely live and what he re what we realize it is that because what he was saying when he went in and listened, he could hear a clock sound. The clock turned out to be, because he's actually viewing this or reviewing the footage live on his mobile phone, it was his actual mobile phone that was making the the sound and not the clock within the room. So we, we, we were sent off on a little bit of a... A trail really to, to click on log try and locate this um this tapping rapping sound so uh because when we looked reviewed footage within the room there is no no t no sound no tapping no clicking sound which he interpreted as a camera um a clock so uh so that one was sorted uh so i think it's always fair to when you're able to debunk a suggestion one way or the other um so those anyone that's using the cameras remotely say for example you, you may have the cameras installed when you're at work or you're on holiday you can have a look in you may experience this this ticking sound uh and undoubtedly it was on the mobile phone of the owner not on the the camera picking up uh, of, of a clock that was in the room so that's that one out of the way so i thought i'd just share that bit of an update there so we call it like the main office clock investigation so i'll pop that into um into the file um okay so now on to 505 this is an unusual capture again and because one of the questions i've always been asking about this building why is it let's get a picture of it this is the the main office again the top one why is it it's only one camera that picks it up well over the since i've been reviewing 2021 footage we've had a couple now where both cameras have picked it up and this is indeed another one uh, i'm pretty sure it is camera one and it is camera two so the sound itself has been picked up by both of the cameras. That's camera one, that's camera two. Both of them have been picked up. So, let's have a listen. So I've got the vol uh, volumes down, do apologize. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. This is 2038 and the 8th, which is about, coming up to about 29, so... It's a Friday. Yeah, Friday night, Friday night. Um, so it's 2038. Which is camera two. This is camera one. Should be the same time again. Which it is. Sometimes you will get a couple of 
um, differences in the seconds, it might be five, six seconds out, maybe a little bit more, because they're never synchronized. Yeah. So where's that coming from? Okay. Nothing was found on the the canvas. Um, uh, what we actually wanted to do as well, because we had a similar loud sound before, which we were never to be able to um, find a rational reason for. These are empty boxes. We've asked him to stack them singly not stacked on top of the other to risk, to eliminate really the risk of, of falling. Um, so it was just generally coming down to doing a little bit of housekeeping before you finish to rule out me constantly saying to him, well, you know, that's not stacked right or that, that look looks a bit loose. Um, Hmm. I just don't know um, what's the significance of um, of it. Um, let's just see how far these are out of cinch. Right, I've stopped it there. So twenty thirty eight eighteen. 20, 38, 18, 20, 38, 15. It's about three seconds out of synchronization. Okay. Uh, the only one way to play this simple case of recording, but what I might be able to do is detect we, we, how close it is to which which camera, um, and we'll do that on on, on Mixcraft itself. So what I'll do, I'll open up the uh, digital audio workstation and we'll pop them in into here. Where are we? Five. We'll do camera one first. I need to keep that. Okay. Bring the analyzer in. Uh, to answer a question someone asked recently about the spectrum analyzer use of uh, the legacy, I've got these two different types that are out that I've got on here. I prefer this one for two reasons. One, I'm used to it. And secondly, it's been used throughout the um, investigation for the last couple of years. So I'm going to be reluctant to move away from it because suddenly you're seeing a different um, different analyzer. So that's the reason why I'm sticking with this one. Um, I'm, I've clicked on average, so it's going to take an average frequency spectrum for that, um, just under a second. Okay, see we do this before, we'll take a snippet of that. Oops. That's camera one. Quite a big spread of frequency.
because it does sound hollow sounding so you will get vibrations reflections and so on um okay let's just get rid of that um Now we're going to look at camera two. Okay, <clears throat> that actually looks a little bit louder. Um, yeah, just a little bit louder, think that one. Okay, let's clean the pipes. Hmm. It does actually sound loud as well. So let's come, come to. Let me close that down. Okay, so it's camera one at, at the left. Um, let's see if we can make these a little bit bigger for you. Okay, so loudness 42, 42. So the, the loudness it seems to be the same. That column is loudness. That column is frequency. So minus 42. So only slightly louder. <clears throat> the base frequency just under about 220. 220 is, is the same. Um, 1k. One, yeah, a little bit more spread of frequency, and these are cons just reflections. They start to thin out. This is the the, the, the base frequency, R, low frequency, mid frequency, high frequency, and these are just simple reflections. Um, the, right. Um, both cameras are identical, so there won't be an awful lot of difference between the, the performance of the microphones. Um, I think it's given me more questions than answers, to be honest. Um, I was always looking for, for the two cameras to um, capture the same event, which is done. Um, both of them are very different. Um, you know, if you, if you argue on the fundamental frequencies, is this, what is that, 400 to 1000? This one, the fundamental frequency, is about um, 700 to about 1200. So it seems this, it seems to have shifted to the right. Um, Yet they're both recording the same, the same event. Um, I don't know uh, if you've got any thoughts on that one. Um, please let me know. What I will do now is I'll, I'll write that up. And um, if you've got any thoughts or comments, just put them in the, um, the comments box. And we'll, we'll see if we can answer them, but uh, I, I simply don't know what that is. Obviously, the following day we investigated the room and nothing was found. So, um, 
we have no idea what's made the sound and if we haven't got any idea we can't duplicate it so anyway i'll see you on the next next movie another another mystery on movie 405